Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're here at NASCAR Heat 5, getting really close to the end of our 2021 season. We're wrapping up the playoffs here. We got three more races left. Kansas, Martinsville, and Phoenix for the championship. And uh yeah, we're going to Kansas this weekend. Let's see uh let's see where we place. And uh we're gonna be seeing a lot of this paint scheme because I saw a couple days ago that 2311 announced that they're running the their you know their main DoorDash primary scheme for the rest of the season. So we're gonna be in this car for the last three races and uh, let's see what we can do out there. Time to go. How do you think we measured up? I'll let you know. All right, we got eighth place in qualifying. I will go ahead and take that. Let's see who got pole today. Kyle Busch is your pole winner. We got Joy Logano, Eric Amarola, Denny Hamlin, and Harvick rolling out the top five. And between us and them, we got Elliott and Kozlowski. So, looking forward to this. Looking like it's going to be a good day. All righty, let's see what we got here. Suarez. Hey, look. It's Suarez. There's Kyle Busch. And Dylan fell technical inspection. Ah, he's the only one not having a great day. Happens. Happens to the best of us. Happened to this guy right in front of us recently. And we're green at Kansas. Kozlowski, hold it together, buddy. Didn't mean to knock him loose or anything, but he just kept checking up. I thought he was going to try to send it. I was trying to help him. 18 laps to go. Not a very long stage, but not very short either. There you go. Give me some help. Yeah. Brad really wants to work with me, I guess. Or not. All got jumbled around. Larson hold it together. Oh, and there he goes. That was an early race wreck. We all just kind of got jumbled up. I thought I maybe had some room where I didn't, but eh, it is what it is. We're in the high line at Kansas. is actually kind of working out. Wow. Didn't really think that high line was going to get me anywhere, but it's getting me places. Following Kyle Busch up there, who seems to be loving that high line. Careful, still there. At Chase Elliott, right on my door. So I'm sure you guys have been seeing lots of people. Ooh, if you've been keeping up on NASCAR gaming, um, about the new NASCAR 21 Ignition game, and all these bugs as uh, as hats that's come out. Um, it's as of recording this it'll be coming out in three days I will be getting it in three days anyway pre-orders get it two days early so I guess it'll be coming out in five days but uh, either way the game is very very close to launch and uh, it looks like it's looking promising it looks it's looking like the devs are uh, working on it so it, I'm, I'm hoping that they're definitely fixing up all those bugs and uh, hoping to have a great uh, you know game when it comes out. I will for sure be putting out a video or a stream on NASCAR 21 when it does come out. So keep your eyes out for that. And obviously we will wrap up NASCAR Heat 5 uh, with this series right here. So well, it's looking like a fun game. I can't wait to try it with, uh, with a wheel and you know the first person cams. I think it's going to be amazing. Not what I'm trying to do to Larson. I've already roughed him up today. Oh, not again. Hold it together. I'm sorry. I'm just beating the crap out of Larson. I get it. I'm sick of seeing that five car all the time, but I'm not that sick of it. Jeez. Got Blaney, who just came in out of nowhere. He saved it. I tapped the wall, but I saved it. Oh my god. Oh, look at Suarez. Or not. Oh, yeah, there it is. I can't believe Byron a shot. I'll just try to keep it together and hold the draft. 
Just trying to get places and uh, tagged them. All right, stage two. Tyler Reddick riding the high line. As he usually does, that's awesome to see. Try to work with him a little bit. That's cool if they actually have him riding the high line. That's awesome. He loves doing that. I guess I'm doing that with him now. I don't mind it. Okay. Wow! Oh, oh, there goes my car. Ooh, oh, everyone just plows right into it. Loving that. Um, lost the handle of it, but I guess we're good enough to keep going. That's a lot of damage or a lot of repairs. I'll be going to the back. Um, do I want more grill tape? I think we're fine where we're at. I'm honestly comfortable with how this car is handling. It's just, it's not getting a lot done. It'll get to like 8th and then it's just kind of sit there. We'll see what it's like back here. In the back of the field. Got Ryan Priest. That is a uh, brightly colored car. Nature Valley. Yellow and green. It's actually, honestly, it's not a bad looking car in my opinion. They're pulling it off. Car outside. Hold your line. Now this is where we'll see a lot of things change. Yep. I think this is your top three right here. Yep. We're now third. Now that the uh, cycle is cycling out. Wish I could get back up to Brad. We're working pretty well together. Kansas is definitely one of those tracks where you want a lot of air. And I'm not getting that right now. As long as I can hold everybody behind me off for three laps, we'll be fine. Not get into this wall. All right, third and stage two. I will gladly take that. That was much needed. We're gonna pit. Probably end up in the back because a lot of people just pitted. Uh, but yeah, everyone but the top eight is a lap down. So I guess they'll get their lap back now. Oh, we didn't go anywhere because everyone had to get their lap back. So. I believe that have people have their laps back, at least a good chunk of the field. But we're still up front. Highline is not working out. We're all spreading apart, though. I don't know if I got a winning car, but I'm definitely up here. Hoping to stay up here. We could put about 15 laps of fuel in the car, so we could try to short pit. But I don't know if I want really want to test that. Because cautious could happen at any time. That could change everything. And now I'm getting pushed. Oh, don't! What are you doing? Oh, jeez! He drove right at me. That's just visual because the caution was up. But my God, I see why Eric Jones' car was destroyed now. My god. Everyone's pitting. I think we might be able to just make it work. If we stretch the fuel saving a little bit, we might be able to make it work. Also going to bump down the tire pressure a little bit. Bump it up in the back. Trying to make this thing a little bit faster. I'm comfortable where this thing is handling, though. I like where it's at. Just, uh... Yeah. We just got to make it last. Hey, look, it's Suarez. Look at that. We just have enough fuel at the line. We have one extra lap of fuel. All right, as I hit the line, that, you know, seven laps to go, and then that, uh, my fuel ticked from nine to eight. So we have just enough for an extra lap. Just barely enough fuel. I'm not sure what these guys' fuel strats are like. Some of them may be pitting soon. And we have a caution. Wow. I was hoping that was going to go green, honestly. This caution kind of sucks. But we have just enough fuel to make it. 
and uh, you know, the tire wear is looking a little sketchy, but if we can just hold everybody off, try to just fend for ourselves, plus if everyone else is going to be on old tires, then I think we'll be okay. Looking like the case, I don't see anyone pitting, so we're going to go for it. We're going to stick it out. We're in 16th. We got a handful of laps to go. I think it's five laps to go. Five or six. No, less than that. It's going to be three to go, I think, or two to go. We got two to go at the line. I don't think we're going to win, but we can always try. White flag in the air. We're dropping. I, that restart was the last thing I wanted, bro. Yep, Larson kind of squeezed me into the wall there. I think that was Larson. We were just racing hard and uh, didn't didn't go very well. I was dropping like a rock. That restart did not help anything. I my heart kind of sank when that restart happened. Because I was hoping that it was going to go green. We were going to have a fuel battle. And uh, that would have been my chance. But not the case. So 22nd finish. Kind of disappointing. But uh, yeah. That'll, uh, that'll do it for Kansas. Let's look at the leaderboard. So Chase Elliott is your Kansas race winner. And uh, you can see there that Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. were your two stage winners. There's Larson losing the handle of it. Ooh, big hit there. And uh, I was looking at the replays, you know, always to get a thumbnail. And it kind of looks like that Larson tried getting revenge on me. Because at the beginning of the race, remember, I kind of squeezed him up into the wall. And uh, on accident, but it happened. And at the end of the race, that last lap, he got right up behind me and then pushed me uh, out to the wall. And then squeezed me into it as he tried to pass me. So, uh, I wonder if... That was retaliation. Which, I mean, hey, you know, Rubin's racing, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there's your top 10. There's your top 20. Hey, look, it's Suarez. There's your top 30 with us right there in 22nd. And there's the rest of the field. We got two, I think, three DNFs. Michael McDowell, Timmy Hill, and Justin Haley, unfortunately. And there I go sliding, oof, right into the wall. I actually looked pretty realistic. And was trying to squeeze through there. Oh, I just hear tires screeching in the background. There it is. Let's look at the playoffs. So looking here at the playoffs, we are in a must-win scenario. We got Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr. Uh, I, I'd say that they're both pretty safe to be in the championship four. Uh, Truex has a nice cushion, and Denny Hamlin obviously got his win, so he's advanced anyway. And then you got Kevin Harvick. He's got some cushion. He just has to not be bad at Martinsville. And then basically from Brad to Blaney, uh, it's anyone's game. We're still in, you know, I think Blaney is in a must-win scenario for sure. Uh, I just have to run really well slash win. And uh, I'm hoping I can do that in Martinsville. It's a short track, so anything could happen. But I, I, I'm hoping I can at least pull out a dub or at least max points day. If I do a max points day, I think we might get in on points just barely. But that means these other guys got to suck. So uh, it's getting tight and wrecks like that aren't going to help anything but um yeah so we, we kind of dropped in the playoff standings but we're going to fight like heck to get into this round of four so i hope to see you guys there at martinsville next week uh that being said stay safe take care and uh, we'll see you all for the grandfather clock in martinsville now i gotta say looking at some of these replays we had some really good racing at kansas for it being kansas like I mean, the, the real race has yet to even take place. That happens tomorrow as I'm recording this. But uh, this racing was really good just, just by looking at it. I mean, it looked really realistic.